Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Zombie Derby Pixel Survivor. Now this driving, running over and shooting simulator was developed and published by Brine Media and is usually available for £4.19 slash $4.99. So in this really enjoyable arcade racing shooting type zombie game, our objective is to shoot and run over zombies. It's uh, pretty simplistic in its nature but it delivers on all fronts, enjoyably addictive. Achievements are nice and easy and we only have to beat level 3 and replay level 1 a couple of times. So uh, to do, what we have to do is get 3 stars on one level, die 6 times, get 2500 points, that's why you have to get up, up to and beat the third level, max upgrade a car, do 3 front and back flips, paint a car and kill 2 birds. Nice and easy, Lemon McFleezy. So all in all, this only took me around 25 minutes to complete, but that was with me dawdling and messing around for a little bit as well. So you can probably get it done in around 15 to 20 minutes, maybe even 10 if you're just that good. So with that being said, then let's do it. So what you're going to see then as we press start, uh, we're obviously going to go through a tutorial and the tutorial is all easy. It's going to toot us through the tutorial. So, right trigger is to drive. Obviously, you're only going to be ever going from left to right. You're only going to be heading to the right, so that's all you need. So, press the right trigger here to get going. You will explode into barriers and buses and things like that. Um, you can destroy zombies and obstacles. Press the A button there to use your machine gun. Now, a couple of things I should mention. As you can see, the health bar at the very top. So, um, ammo in this game is very, very sparse. So, you know, shoot very carefully. Running over zombies and going into things um, takes little bits off the car. That's why we need to upgrade the cars. Um, but if you run over zombies, you only lose like one or two health. If you run into big obstacles like explosive barrels and things like that, it will take off quite a chunk of health. So here is level one then. So we begin. So obviously it doesn't matter at the minute because we're going to die a couple of times so we can upgrade. So just keep going forward. And then what we're going to do, we're going to come up to a ramp. When you come up to this ramp, with the left stick, make sure to push it to the right or left to do a front or a back flip. And again, because we're going to need to be doing this three times to get a couple of achievements there. Um, now, as you can see, in the top right corner of your screen, they are what look like lug nuts. Now, that's basically the currency for the game as well. Uh, you'll automatically um, go into the nitro. Now, I don't know if this was a glitch as well, but I managed to get the achievement for... Well, I almost maxed out the um, car right there so i'm not sure if that was just a bug that went in my favor but um yeah it's okay because again we, we'll have enough um money to do it later on so yes press x to accelerate over do a couple of backflips again if you so wish and uh what we're gonna do then is now you may now to get three stars on a level what it does say is to kill all the zombies. It says to kill all the zombies and try and do it in under 40 seconds. Uh, as you can see, we just died again, which is absolutely fine. Uh, another thing I should say... Uh, sorry, just going back with the three stars. Um, I managed to just run through the level and missed one zombie as well. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, so I managed to get that one a little bit later on. Um, again, here I maxed the car out. Again, not unsure if that's a bug or not. But it worked in my favour. Um, so again, just make sure if you've got the three backflips done, make sure every ramp that you go up, just do a front flip now, just to get that achievement out of the way. And on this level, <laughs> there are also two birds that we are going to kill. Well, there's one bird, which um, it's not on this ramp, but it will be in one just a bit. And it'll come up on screen anyway when you see it. Um, it'll say, sorry, bird, but we need to kill two of those. Now, there's... One, this is the ramp, so accelerate a little bit and you'll hit the bird. Again, you need to kill two of those. So, if you um, if that was your first time, you can either die or just get to try and get to the end of the level. So you can see if you can get the three stars. If you did get the three stars, that's great. Happy days. And basically, it's the majority of the achievements there. So as you can see, I got 44 out of 45 and I still got the achievement, which is all good. Um, plus... You'll get the achievement for completing the tutorial a lot later after completing level one, hilariously. Um, you will also get the... If you obviously done three front flips as well, you will get that achievement too. Uh, so yeah, so the majority then is done. So you should get 
uh, completing backflips the tutorial, fully upgrading any of your cars. And again, if you have killed two birds, you will get that achievement as well. If not, just replay level one, that's fine. And um, just get up to the point where you, uh, where you need to kill the bird again, and you'll get it at the end. Um, again, we're going to be replaying level one a couple of times just to get the achievement here for dying six times as well. So that's why I'm saying if you didn't get, if you haven't got the bird achievement just yet, that's fine. We can get it now because we've got to die six times anyway. Um, now um, I have pretty much just edited it out. So I've edited it out. Um, but I have died a mega six times. Once we are onto level two, we get a new car. And if we go into the top right hand corner on the main menu, all achievements that you've got, as you can see, um, you can claim and get a lot of money. So again, with the whole max in the upgrade of the car, if it didn't upgrade the other one earlier on, this is the car we'll be using, kind of like a like a sort of half death lim limousine. Um, but we will be maxing and going for these as much as we can. What I would highly up recommend is upgrading the engine, the ammo, um, basically all of them except for the wheels. The wheels can come last, that's fine. Um, it does make going uphill a bit easier, but in order to get through level 2 and level 3 a lot easier, we need the durability, which is on the right-hand side, the ammo, and a bit more turbo blast. So, we replay level 1 once again. Um, so yeah, if you haven't gone for the bird, go ahead and get the bird now. And then die. Um, otherwise, what we're going to do is just die six times. And we're just going to do it in here. Now, what I should say as well is... You might... It might not even be worth getting it now. Because basically, I think I died overall about five or six times in level two and level three. So if you didn't want to get it there, you'll probably... You may end up dying in level two and level three anyway. But it's just out of the way, isn't it? So... We've got three achievements left now. That is for painting a car, earning 1,000 to 1,500 points. So getting through it nice and quickly. So again, like I said, um, obviously we're going to try and upgrade. If you go onto the paintbrush there, you can choose any color that you want. We're just going to get this one out of the way. What I should also say is with the currency, now if you are having trouble um, or you've done all of the, the game so far, and you get through all levels without anything. Basically, the more you die, even if you die, you will still get that currency. So you can go through the level and die three or four times, but you will still get a lot of currency. As you can see, I flip, I die, and I get a decent amount. I've already got 565. So, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty handy. Um, and obviously, I died. I think I died another two times, actually, in level two. So that's why it went up to 965. So that is a good thing to keep in mind that... Even if you die, you still get currency. So the more you upgrade, the better it is. Right. What I should also say now as well is, as I said, the ammo is obviously very scarce. So you want to be careful with um, using your ammo. What I would highly recommend doing is, again, try and do front flips and back flips if you can. Um, I don't do it everywhere. But if you can, just go ahead and run over the zombies and shoot any obstacles that are in your way. So the explosive barrels... Any boxes and things like that. Because as you can see, if you run over boxes and, and explosive barrels, uh, they basically take like 20, 25 off your health. 15, 20, 25, especially in level 3, there's some that will take 40 or 50 health off. And of course, you ain't going to get to the end of the level. So that's my high recommendation. Just um, run over as many zombies as you can. If you can, try and do it with your car sort of in the air. With your front wheels in the air, if you know what I mean. And then shoot any obstacles, i.e. these explosive barrels, rather than me running into them. That is the best advice I can give in order to do these uh, couple of levels a lot easier. Otherwise, for now, what we could do is just get to the end. And we should then only have one achievement left. And that is basically for finishing level 3.
So onwards and upwards we go. We've got one more achievement left to get, as I said, and that is for getting two and a half thousand points. Now, um, pretty much we should be able to, you can claim the police car here, but what we're going to do is press left bumper to go back to our half death limousine. And again, if you can upgrade what you can, that would be fantastic as well. Um, now again, as you can see, I've got 3,605. I died three times on this level and almost got to the end once. So that's why I had quite a lot of money left over. Um, but yeah, so if you don't have the max upgrade achievement just yet, obviously now's your time uh, Now's your time to do it. Just die as many times as you can. Um, otherwise, it's uh, pretty much as simple as now just getting to the end. Remember to run over the zombies, hopefully with your back wheels. I think it does take less damage, I believe. With your less wheels, uh, with your back wheels, and just shoot any obstacles that are in your way. What you're going to find is zombies with um, riot shields as well. Uh, I tried shooting them, but it doesn't seem to work. So just keep sh shooting the expl shooting the objectives, oh, the objectives. Keep shooting the barrels, explosive barrels, boxes, and stuff like that, and just keep running over the zombies, and you should have just enough to make it. I think I ended up with like 22 health. So that's fine, just fine, fine. Ready, steady, bloom! And as it turns out, I had 105 health. I must have meant 22 health in the previous level. Yes, I did. Anyway, that is that. Now you should get... Um, I, I think it doesn't matter how bad or whatever you are at this game. I think you will always get 2,500 2 points at the end of this anyway. So there we go, guys and gals. That is an awesome game, and it is all complete. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the game. I hope the guide helped you as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And share with a friend as usual, and a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon, legends of the highest order, and I will see you in the next one, big love.